And just a day or so after release, there was a day with over $1,000 in sales, and I was thinking to myself, what if I hadn't gone down the route of learning something new? Hey, it's Chris. In today's video, I am gonna be mentioning something like 10 apps and services for your iPad. Definitely some new stuff thrown in there that you haven't encountered before, but I'm gonna wrap all that information in some cool ideas that I think could have a profound impact on your work, on your workflows, and just on life in general. And just so you know, the ideas we're exploring today came from a tweet thread from Sahil Bloom, which I'll link up in the description for you. The first big idea we're checking out today is Parkinson's Law. It says, work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So if you work longer, you actually end up getting less done. And when you establish fixed hours, you find unproductive ways to fill them. So if your goal is to do inspired, creative work, then you gotta work like a lion instead. Sprint, eat, rest, repeat. So in your iPad setup, if you wanna use Parkinson's Law to your advantage, then head over to your calendar app. And I actually have a really great one to tell you about that I've never featured before. It's called Pencil Planner and Calendar Pro. And it's super different than other calendar and planner apps because its focus is on handwriting instead of just type text, which is really cool for those Apple Pencil and Creative people out there. But whatever calendar app you're using, Try this, list out the tasks that you have to accomplish and then estimate the hours that you think it's gonna take or the time per task. Head back over to your calendar app and give yourself half the time that you need to accomplish each of those tasks. Because here's the thing, you can absolutely get a lot more done a lot faster and with a lot higher quality than you would think if you push yourself. Why? Because creativity is present in a way that it's not normally when there's pressure. And I see this happen and play out in my whole career and in my day-to-day -day work all the time. And speaking of time, our next big idea is the time billionaire. Right, so time is our most precious asset. When you're young, you're almost like a time billionaire because you're rich with time. But too many people fail to realize the value of this asset until it's gone. So you gotta treat time like your ultimate currency. It's all you have, you can never get it back. Seriously, you guys hear me talk about this all the time on the channel. You have two things you can invest in life, money and time. And there's always a possibility that you can get more money in the future, but there's never the possibility that you can get more time for yourself in the future. So you have to invest it wisely. So on the iPad, that definitely means setting up your screen time limits if you haven't already. So settings, screen time, because you absolutely want to limit those unproductive time sinks. Things like gaming, endless news scrolling, social media, concentrating on other people's lives instead of your own, watching unproductive productive videos, but you could also consider getting some helpful apps like Focus Keeper, which can help you keep your productivity high while also avoiding burnout, or Forest, which is similar, kind of cool. It's a gamified timer app that's designed to help you beat procrastination. I hate the little button down here that says give up if you're done too early. Are you sure you wanna give up? It's pretty good with the psychology to keep you on task. And before we get to the next big idea, you've probably been wondering why my iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard setup looks a little bit different in this video, right? Well, that's because I've got the Moff Snap case for iPads on here, which is the only magnetic-friendly Magic Keyboard compatible case for iPad creators. So thanks to the sticker-free magnetic design, I can easily attach and detach my iPad from the Magic Keyboard, all while retaining full compatibility thanks to the globally patented Smart Connector pass-through technology. So with the snap case on, you can protect the edges of your iPad from scratches while using the Magic Keyboard. And it's got an Apple Pencil cradle up top, which allows for charging, yes, but also prevents your Apple Pencil from getting lost, right? Especially when you throw your iPad in a backpack or something, that Apple Pencil is always coming off but not anymore. It's also compatible with Moff's magnetic system of accessories like the Snap tablet stand, the Snap float stand, and the wall stand in the Snap Pad. Topping it all off, you got a vegan leather back panel which protects the back of your iPad when you lay it down. And the whole thing is super lightweight. It basically adds no bulk when you carry it around. It's great for everybody, especially iPad creators. And honestly, it's one of the coolest iPad accessories I've seen in a while. So check it out using the link in the description. And just in case you're wondering, yeah, it's compatible with my paper-like screen protector. So win-win. All right, here's another big idea for you. Paths open versus closed. The black lines you're looking at here represent paths that are closed. The green lines represent paths that are open. Now we all do it. We spend too much time focusing on what might have been those black lines and not enough time focusing on what may be the green lines. Never underestimate the density of opportunity that lies ahead. Now subscribers know I started Daily Tech when I was at a job that I hated, when I was on a path that I hated. And now I get to sit here and talk about my favorite tech 
for my full-time living. And I'm much happier now doing this than if I had taken a job based on what I had studied in college. So here's what I want you to do. Grab your iPad and open up either Apple Notes or an app like MindNode and just brainstorm what some new paths for yourself might look like. So write out a few things that you're either passionate about or really knowledgeable about and just take all the guardrails off your mind and think about where pursuing those paths might be able to lead you. And if you have a great idea, you can stick it in an app like ThinkDrop and you can just create an idea thread around it. And and you can see it here. Maybe consider copying my ultra productive iPad home screen setup from a couple videos ago. And then you can create a custom home screen and widget setup with specific focus modes and it's geared towards helping you pursue a specific new path. And as you can tell, I got my focus mode set up to automatically switch the wallpapers using some of the wallpapers from my new wallpaper packs. But seriously, I've changed the trajectory of my life multiple times, and if I can do it, you can do it. So do it, which leads us to another important idea for you, the Feynman technique, which is a technique to learn anything. Step one, try to identify the topic. Step two, simplify it, try to explain it to a five-year-old. Step three, study to fill in your knowledge gaps. Step four, organize, convey, and review. Because true genius, one could say, is the ability to simplify. Now we talked about open versus closed paths just a second ago. So what if you see a potential path open for yourself and you wanna take it, but you know you just don't have the knowledge yet to pull it off? Well, you gotta learn something new and this technique can help. And I can't help myself, I just have to point out quickly the Jasper writing app can literally rephrase anything you type and explain it in a way that a child can understand with one click of a button. So if you're new around here, I'll link it up in the description for you, but however you're gonna learn, whether it's books or online courses or just straight up college, however you're gonna do it, there's some really great iPad apps that can help. Margin Note is a beast, for instance. It's great if you're really serious about learning and note taking. And then there's also Quizlet, which is awesome for just making flashcards if you wanna memorize stuff. And if you're looking for something totally new and different, you could check out Traverse.link. It's a web app, but it's got spaced repetition, it's got interleaving, and it's also got concept mapping among other really powerful features. Now, speaking of taking new paths, I've got a real world example for you from my own life. A while back, I decided to tackle a new subject I knew nothing about. I learned every everything I could about it, and then I learned it so well, I ended up making an online course to help educate other people about it. And just a day or so after release, there was a day with over $1,000 in sales, and I was thinking to myself, what if I hadn't gone down the route of learning something new or gone down the route of taking a risk and being more entrepreneurial? And so my question for you is, what are you potentially missing out on by not learning something new or by not taking some entrepreneurial risks yourself? And that's a perfect segue to the next big idea. We're in the entrepreneurial golden age. This is the best time in history to be a builder. The 2020s are a golden age. The things in your favor include an abundance of no code tools, open, accessible, permissionless internet, cracking walls of credentials decentralization of hiring hubs. Yes, the time is now. And actually, I think this tweet sums it up perfectly, the phases of entrepreneurship. Number one, knowing it exists. Number two, knowing it's possible. Number three, knowing it's possible for you. That's the big hurdle for people. Number four, actually doing it. Number five, exceeding your expectations. Absolutely. Now, several months back, I made a video called Five Ways to Earn Six Figures with an iPad, which just gives you five iPad-based businesses that you can actually start and run and be successful with. I give you examples, how to the steps and resources you need. So it's probably something you wanna check out. I'll link it up in the description. But I do also wanna bring your attention to some no-code app building platforms because we've all had million dollar app ideas, but ideas are a dime a dozen. They're nothing without execution. But how can you execute if you don't know how to code? Well, with a no-code app platform, like I'm about to show you. So Thunkable is a web app and it'll let you create custom native apps with absolutely no code. And then there's also Pineapple, which is super simple and it works on your iPad. You can build apps on your iPad. It's a available in the app store. Or if you don't wanna be an app developer, it's not for everybody, you could become a content creator, kinda of like me, and just deliver useful information to people. Hopefully it's useful what you're getting here. If you're finding something useful, give me a timestamp down in the comments so I know what you liked. You could become a freelancer. I mean, seriously, there's so many opportunities just waiting for you to seize them. It's just not for the lazy. It's for those who make the time. It's like I was just talking to somebody about this the other day, and he was like, look, I got three kids, I got my full-time job, I would like to have a side hustle, I just don't have the time. But the thing is, 
That's everybody. And you can make the time if you use some of the techniques here in this video, if you want to make it happen bad enough, I know that you can. You gotta be your own bailout sometimes and not just wait around to win the lottery. Hey, if you wanna get your hands on some of the wallpapers featured in this video, go ahead and hit the link for the wallpaper store. I'll link that up. People have been loving these wallpaper packs so far. I can tell you the two top sellers so far. Far and away, people seem to love the iPad Air wallpaper pack the best. It's got a bunch of different colors. There's even a space gray and a starlight color for you starlight owners out there. And the other one that's been really popular are these gradients, which just blow up your screen with awesome colors. So that's the shades pack. You're seeing it here. Lots of options to choose from, mobile versions to have too, so you can match. Thanks for hanging out today. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.